question okay. was that in Islam it is definitely uh, not permissible to to break uh, ties of kinship. But uh, what about when one of the parents, which is very forbidden to do, to break the ties of kinship with them, was very abusive, and not abusive uh, as in uh, he took medicine or he was in a bad place, but my dad, he took advantage of my mom to come from another country to Europe, and when he married her, he became very abusive, he hit my mom, he hit me, and then he divorced, and then he, we never talked again. So my question is, when I was a kid, I was very afraid of him, so I always said, no, I don't want to see him, I don't want to see him, I don't want to see him. And now when I, now that I'm older, I still do not want to see him, but I'm afraid of the punishment of Allah for me breaking this, guy, uh, this, this kinship. So my question is, is it permissible to break the ties of kinship with, in this case, my dad, if he was really, really, really abusive, and I've seen it, and I know that if I talk to him again, maybe I will get traumatized again, and jazakallah khaira. What jazakum? Akhi, these um, psychological backlashes that so many of the Muslims nowadays are picking up and convincing themselves that oh to avoid the trauma to avoid any uh, um, such feelings it's halal for me to do one two three four no it's not we have Islam to follow we have a religion to comply with so Allah tells you that your father is the middle gate of Jannah. You won't be able to enter Jannah without being dutiful to your father, being obedient, being respectful. Regardless of his past, whatever he did to your mom, you don't know what your mom did to him. So she's a grown-up woman. If she wanted to divorce him, maybe she did. That's between them. If she didn't divorce him, then she knows how to behave. She's an adult. Stay out of it. Now, if he abused you, if he used to hit you, if he used to uh, verbally insult you, you must tolerate this. And I know that the people in the West say, no, oh, we have human rights. Baloney. Big baloney. Why? Because they themselves they don't use the same measuring tool. So when it comes to children abandoning their parents and boycotting them and misbehaving with them, yeah, this is your right. You are a human being. You can do this. What about if their government, if their governor, their president, their rulers do this to them? The police force does even worse things. So though you have the legal system, go and, uh, and, and complain. And they know that they can't win. The media shoves thoughts and ideas and rubbish and, and filth down their throats. They can't do anything about it. So you have to tolerate. Lies after lies they put in their lives, you can't say anything about it. But when it comes to your father or your mom, yeah, you can call 911 and put them in jail. Islam is not like this. The reason is that Islam is from Allah who created us and knows us and knows how we will function and behave. While these man-made laws are made by humans. hundred years ago, homosexuality was prohibited in a crime punished by death. Now, you talk against it, we we'll put you in jail. And probably 20 years time, if you don't become gay or, or homosexual, we'll put you in jail. A'udhu Billah. What kind of nonsense is this? So you have no choice. He's your father. Be diplomatic. Be dutiful. Be respectful. Try to win his pleasure and forget about the past. This is what Allah wants you to do. And this is what will take you to Jannah. Any other choice would probably distance you from Jannah. And I'm talking about things that we can tolerate. If he's still physically abusive, you may keep your distance, but you have to check up upon him. If he needs financial help, do your level best to please Allah, which comes through pleasing your father-in-law knows best. This